All right, guys, we're here at Overland Expo East, and this is my new friend Spencer, and we are inside the Bliss Mobile. Is that how we pronounce it? Bliss Mobile. Bliss Mobile. What model is this that we're looking at? This is our 13-foot Type 4 layout. Okay, 13-foot Type 4 layout. Talk me through all this. This is a really, really well-built uh, what do you? It's not really an RV. It's not really like an like expedition. We, we rig, call it an expedition vehicle. Okay, expedition yep. vehicle. And where are these made? These are made in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. So you here in the U.S. We're here in the U.S. How yep. do they get here? So we ship uh, the unit either via a container or on a flat rack, depending on the size. Okay. And then we mount the Bliss Mobile units or the boxes on the U.S. truck chassis. And this one is on which chassis? This is on a brand new AEV Ram 5500, which we're really excited about. It's a new platform for us for the U.S. What kind of specs are we looking at with the truck? So on this one, it's a standard cab chassis 5500. 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, 73 gallons of fuel overall. 73 gallons, And wow. we're on a 41-inch tire package with Hutchinson wheels. Okay. And, of course, all the AEV treatment, which is uh, great stuff. So you've got a really good chassis cab situation, and then you plop this thing on board. And, guys, this thing is super, super, it, it's very, like, European vibey in here. Yeah. Can you talk me through, like, our, our little, I don't know, what do, what do you call this area here? So this is our U-shaped dinette. Okay. We can comfortably sit six people here. And we sat, like I sat down in this, it yeah. is easy. If you had to push, you could get eight in there. If you oh, had yeah. to push. <laughs> if you're really having a good time. Yeah, if yeah. you're having a good time, you can get eight people in there. Okay, so yep. what makes this unique to you guys? So, uh, really good seating area. This also folds it, uh, into a bed. Can you show us? Yep. Oh, so we get into our control panel here. Holy moly. And we have two ways of controlling most of the systems in this unit, either via the switches in the control panel or via our app on the Garmin Tread device. So we can just go into the app, turn our so lights on. So could you, in theory, control it from inside the cab? You can, yeah. Wow, that's yeah. cool. So yeah, this is our table set up. So we just hit the down switch All there. Right, step back so we can see. Let me hold still so that, so that is shrinking a, down, guys. That's electronic cool. Electronic telescoping table. This is my daughter's favorite part because she gets to make her bed at night. So she puts it down, she yep. loves that, that's cool. Yep. So you've got this, what size bed is this? This is big. It is big, yeah. So it's probably uh, comparable a little bit bigger than a full size bed. So full size, fold down your cushions off the backs. Yep. So each Look side you just fold it down. And it's as easy as that. You got a little cushy headrest. This is sweet. That's yeah. a nice bed. A nice bed, and it's also a nice place if you just want to lounge and relax and watch some TV. Sure. It's a, sure, it's just a nice vibe spot. out in the middle of nowhere. Exactly. That's cool. And okay, then, so what's this up here? So we have a high bed as well. So this unit is 13 foot type four, and uh, you get a high bed with this layout. So we could sleep four people comfortably in this setup. All right. Dude, is this about the same size bed as this? It is. Okay, so obviously, guys, you can see that's a bed. We won't want, we won't waste your time watching it go all the way down and back up. You can <laughs> shove that back up top. Sounds good. That's cool. Another cool feature is we can actually level the bed as well. So if you like sleeping in a certain position, you can re raise or lower each. So leg. if the if the vehicle is slightly off camber, you can get the bed level. Yep. Without having to worry about the whole vehicle. Correct. That's really neat. Okay, so we've also got what I would say is a full kitchen in here. Can you yep. walk us through what all's here? Because there's some fancy stuff going Absolutely. on. Absolutely. So moving to the kitchen area, we got our Nespresso machine, wine glasses for four, and one of my favorite uh, parts is our kitchen set, which all of our dishes have foam insulation, so that way while you're traveling down the road, oh my gosh, nothing look at that. rattles. Everything's got its spot. And then here in the center is our main fridge. So and how big is this fridge roughly? Uh, I think we're at like a 40 liter fridge okay. on this one. So decent size. Yep. And then we have another Dometic fridge freezer underneath the bench. So you can prep meals, Seriously? deep freeze them, and put them under the bench area. That, see, I, I was like, okay, 40 is not huge, but mm -hmm. like, okay, sure. 
But you've got backup under the bench over yep. here. And that's a Dometic. You've got a chest freezer. That's a Dometic chest freezer. And I want to say that's a 65. So. so in theory, if you're out and maybe somebody wants to take this out and go hunting or something like that, you could harvest some meat yep. and freeze it and then use it as you go along. Exactly. That's super cool. Yeah. So what else do we have? We got the foam, which I love. I love, by the way, because I hate rattling bands. Exactly. I hate it. Or vehicles, should I say. Mine. Yeah. That's PTSD speaking through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, then we have a microwave and convection oven up here at the top two burner stove here, which also has all the cookware in the cabinetry as well. Okay. All right, so what, what do you have to your left here? So to the left, we actually have our clothes washer in this cabinet. You have a freaking clothes washer yeah. in this thing? Yeah. How, like, is that like fit, fit the, you know, like underwear and socks in there? What do you use that for? You can fit a good amount, actually. Really? Yep. What, so is that just like we're bragging at this point? Cause you put that in there, you're just bragging to show that off? That's uh, kind of awesome. Yeah, a little bit of bragging, but okay. totally useful as well. So if is that electric or gas? Electric. Okay, so you're running on 12 volt? So we're on 24 volt. Okay, 24 volt across the whole system. Yep. Okay. 800 amp hours on lithium. 800, where do you keep that in this vehicle? And we have that right underneath where you're sitting on okay, the Okay, so under the, the right side bench when we were looking at it is where the power system is. Yep. We'll see if we can get some shots of that. Sure. And what, do we have solar on the roof as well? We have a thousand watts of solar. And we're thousand. actually running 24 volt, 120 volt, 12 volt, and 230 volt on this unit. Oh my gosh. So this is like ultra, like you've got a lot going on here. So here's one of the other things. So we were talking about this earlier and we, we were kind of joking around about taking it out and going to cold places, but you mm. said this is insulated for what temperature? We rate this down to negative 40 degrees. Negative 40. Where does it get to negative 40 on earth? Uh, like Northern Canada, Canada in the winter? Yeah, we've, we've gotten down to negative 27 in Colorado. So we have some pretty cold snaps in Colorado. And you'd be just fine in this. Yep. So how, have, does, how does that work exactly? We have three heating systems on board. Okay. So electric in-floor heating, which is really nice. So in the floor, there's heating down there. Yep. And then we have diesel air heat and electric heat through the HVAC system. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys, there's a register up here and there's probably some elsewhere that I can't see that are super duper hidden. Yep. And and then what, well, you told me something fancy. I said, how do the windows keep that? You've got glass, how do you insulate it like that? What, yep. What's the deal with the windows? So we have an Arctic package that we actually run heating elements through the windows and door seals and the locks. So e even the, the skylight? Yep has that and yep. in the bathroom too as well yeah oh my gosh so all of these are heated to, to keep the the heat inside and mm -hmm. keep that equilibrium so you're not having issues i'll tell you what that is super freaking interesting so you could go out all year and you can you, comfortably go four season four season and then some arguably yeah. i mean goodness gracious the extreme four seasons i would say yeah Exactly. And the walls are not crazy thick. What's what's the, what are the walls made of? So it's a fiberglass foam insulation. Okay. And we keep it a secret on the ingredients, of course. You don't want to tell us how to make your vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's we've had it down the cold temps, super comfortable, and the in-floor heating is uh, pretty. Yeah, that, I'm sure that helps too. So. We've got crazy good insulation. We've got all kinds of amenities. Like you could live in this thing in theory, correct? Yeah. You could full time in it. We got 120 gallons of water on board, electric water heater. Uh, yeah, everything you need from the comforts at home to get out there. That's amazing. So tell me about what's behind you. Yep. So we have a wet bath in this unit which means that the shower and bathroom are combined, which I really like because it just gives you more space. And something that Bliss Mobile di does differently uh, among other units is we have a fold down sink what? in this bathroom. Look at that! I, I didn't, you know, that didn't even cross my mind when we were filming this, yeah. you know, getting the V roll and stuff. That is cool. So that's a really nice option. We got plenty of storage, both these cabinets and the medicine cabinet around the corner as and well. And those are all watertight. It's good to go. You don't have to worry about it. Yep. And the skylight, which I love the yeah. skylight. I love having the, the ability just to feel like you're more outside, yeah. even when it's negative 40 and exactly. the windows are all heated up and oh my gosh. So 
what do you sell these for? Because that's the next question. Everybody in the comments, oh, what do you sell? That Everyone looks super expensive. Yeah, everybody has to know. Yep. So what does this go for? So the box itself, because the customer can choose their chassis, this setup starts at 240,000. So 244, what we're in right yep. now. Yep. Okay, the Habitat. The arguably. Habitat. Okay. And then the entire package on the Ram, AV Ram 5500, were around 450 with the options. So 450 kind of all in for everything. And this is, would you say like capable of going effing anywhere? Like what, <laughs> where do you rate that? Yeah, I mean, hugely capable truck chassis. You got a large fuel source with dual tanks from the factory, which is really nice. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna get you far off grid and the capability of having a large fuel or water source, 120 gallons of fresh water and ample food storage, you can stay out for longer. So one of the, we, we filmed other sort of high-end uh, expensive rigs before, and one of the questions that always comes up is who buys these? So, mm -hmm. so what kind of customers come look at, at this stuff from you guys? Because we're here where you can go ultra budget at this event, you can mm -hmm. go into the ultra fancy. Who are the customers that you guys land on most of the time? Uh, it's great because it's all over the board. Anyone from retiring and selling their home to travel for the next two, three years and beyond uh, to someone that wants the weekend adventure in a rig uh, to get away from the city life and get out into the outdoors. Wow. Okay. So is there anything else that we need to know? What's the website? It is blissmobile.com. Blissmobile.com. And okay. we're on all the social media. Check us out. I'm Spencer Park, and I run the North America division, Bliss Mobile USA. So if you're in North America, you're going to talk to Spencer, and he's going to set you up with one of their, like, this is, uh, is this one of the smallest? This is one of the smallest that we build. We have six sizes bigger than this one. So if you've got a bigger family, you could rock and roll. You Absolutely. Know. Or if you literally want to bring out everything from your house and get out there and stay out there. We have ample storage and larger units for uh, that type of traveler. And as you get larger, the capabilities get more interesting. You got more fuel, more water, more solar, more electric, all yep. that sort of stuff, right? Exactly. That's pretty wild. Uh, Spencer, thank you for giving us this little tour here. This is really, really cool. And uh, guys, let us know what you think down in the comments, right? Yeah, sounds great. Awesome, thanks.